if Type 052 C class destroyers are considered the mainstay of the Chinese Navy. India's Chivalry class is a formidable counterweight. Although classified as frigates, with a displacement of 6,200 tons and firepower it carries, can match destroyers. The Chivalry class, also known as Project 17 class, is a steel mantle frigate project equipped with advanced electronics and weapons. These ships will serve as the core forces of the Indian Navy in the first half of the 21st century. The project was approved by Indian government in 1997. The construction of new ships were carried out from 2001 to 2010. As such, both the projects of developing key warships of China and India have the same deployment time. However, it took China only two years to complete the first Type 052C destroyer. Meanwhile, India took nearly 10 years to put the first ships of this class into operation, the lead ship INS Chivalry F-47. There are also doubts about the quality of Chinese warships due to the country's fast shipbuilding speed. On the Indian side, the project's delay was due to the Russian partner delaying the delivery of high-strength D-40 Aster. Besides, Indian engineers had to modify the weapons design on board to suit the new situation. In addition, the project also has some legal issues with the US related to some equipment used on board. Despite being behind schedule, Chivalic is considered a class with steel capabilities. Modern multi functional electronic systems, powerful defense weapon systems. However, like other Indian military projects, only three were completed due to delays. The lead ship, INS Chivalic F47, was commissioned in April 2010, followed by the INS Sapura F48 and INS Shajari F49 in 2011 and 2012, respectively. A special feature of Project 17 is that the entire aerodynamic shape of the ships is researched and designed by Indian Navy engineers. The ships have a very modern design style with high steel capability a trend that is prevalent in the development of warships today in the world. It is also seen as a symbol of self-development of military technology with India's domestic potential. The Chivalry class frigates have a length of 142.5 meters overall, a beam of 16.9 meters and a draft of 4.5 meters. Crew of 257 personnel including 35 officers. In addition to structural design, thermal and acoustic steel features make them less detectable to enemy. Radar systems and engines have been modified to reduce and avoid detection and noise levels. The steel capability of the Chivalry class frigates are rated on par with those of the Swedish Visby class Corvette and French Lafayette class frigate. Chivalry's infrared signature is even lower than the two types of warships mentioned above. Chivalry is the first Indian naval vessel to use a combined diesel or gas propulsion system. Two pair of thick 16 PA6 STC diesel engines deliver 7,600 shaft horsepower, and two CE LM2500 gas turbine engines deliver 33,600 shaft horsepower. The propulsion system gives the maximum speed of 32 knots and 22 knots with diesel engines in fuel economy mode. In terms of electronics and sensors, while China has chosen to copy unlicensed electronic systems and weapons of foreign countries, to accelerate the modernization of military equipment. India has chosen to either buy or make it under license. This leads to delays and costly 
but in return, the quality of these systems is comparable to that of technology transfer nations, and of course, outperform similar systems in China. The electronic system on the Shively class frigates is considered the world's leading modern. The vessels use a combination of electronic systems between Russia, India, and the West. These frigates are mounted a MR-760 Fregat M2EM 3D air search radar, for MR-90 Auric radars for gunboats and surface-to-air missile systems. These systems are supplied by Russia. One Elta ELM-2238 Star Long Range Aerial Surveillance Radar, two Elta ELM-2221 SDGR Radar Guidance Systems, these two types of radar are developed by Israel Aerospace Industries Group. There is also a pair of HANA Electronic Warfare System manufactured by Bharat Electronics of India. For countermeasures, the ships are equipped with Hamsa Hull Mounted Sonar Array Systems and Ata Sintra Toad Atar Sintra Toad Array Systems developed by Thales Group of France. The power of Shivali class frigates is the combination of weapon systems from Russia, Italy, Israel, and India. This included an Italian-made Automerora 76mm gunboat. This type of super rapid gun has an average rate of fire from 85 to 120 rounds per minute. Still one multi-channel medium-range missiles with a range of 30 km, a range in front of the bow, a number of 24 missiles. The Chivalry class frigates possesses another type of close-range weapon, the Barak-1 surface-to-air missile system provided by Israel. The missiles are contained in 32 cells vertical launching system. Barak-1 can intercept targets from 500 meters to 12 kilometers and quickly destroy at supersonic speed Mark 2.1. The ships are equipped with two AK-630 closing weapon systems, a naval gun motor research and developed by the Soviet Union in the 1960s. The AK-630 has a very high rate of fire, up to 5,000 rounds per minute. Another weapon system is also of Soviet origin, the two RBU-6000 anti-submarine rocket launchers with 12 barrels each. The 12 launchers on the RBU-6000 are arranged in horseshoe ships and the fire is controlled by the barrier system. There are also two 533mm DTA-53 956 strips for heavyweight torpedoes for engaging submarines and surface warships. Chivalry's anti-submarine capability is also supported by two hard roof or seeking anti-submarine helicopters. In addition, ships can also deploy two Russian Ka-31s. In particular, Chivalry class frigates have powerful anti-ship capabilities thanks to the vertical launch system with eight club and anti-ship cruise missiles or eight Brahmos supersonic anti-ship missiles. With the supersonic speed of Brahmos, most of the defense systems on the warships were rendered useless. My feature of Chivalry class frigate and shooter. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.